Clark. Happy to have you with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. That one in the dirt, and that's ball two. Swings and chases a low one there. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play out there. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And down on strikes. Now one away. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. One out, base is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Stays alive. There's a swing and a drive. Soto going back on this one. Get out of town. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One out, base is empty. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. And there's a foul ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. No question about this one. It's out of here. A gigantic blast. It's 2 nothing. Back to back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Now batting Max Kepler. Ball, the next pitch ball. misses, and that's ball two. Righty to the plate. Rips that one to right. Hauls it in for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Carlos Correa. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One up, one down. And now it's Juan Soto. One down, base is empty. And now one and two. Swings and misses. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. It's Aaron Judge now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Two outs. Popped up. Correa is there. Drops into the glove. And that is the third out of the inning. Back now in the Bronx. Here's Trevor Larnick. The left number nine. Trevor Larnick. The pitch. 
That one fouled off two and two. Kicks and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Foul ball another two two upcoming. The wide to kick the pitch. Not Rainbow. close with that one and that's ball three. Outside and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Here's Byron Buxton. Byron. And the pitch. That's that misses. Ball. Now two balls two and a ball. strike. One strike. Runner at first with no outs here. And a 2 1 hammered but foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And the righty deals. Okay. Just off the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses. One out. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. Man at first, one away. Got it. And for the game. This is Willie Castro. Righty delivers. Late that time, and it's strike two. That's outside, and it's two and two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Larner, round second on his way to third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Well, patience and discipline paid off right oh, there as he got into an advantage count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next offer in there for a strike. And that is strike two. Two on, two outs. Just missed. It's a good take. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. On the ground to third. Sends it to first, and that'll do it. will deliver that one to first it's through for a hit man aboard on the leadoff single well that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting that averages is. are just so much that's higher that's just one of those seeing eye base that's hits through the infield and just kind of rolled over that's a little that's bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock the twins up by two bottom half of inning number two that one missed. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Outside low. Full count now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Here's Alex Verdugo. the pitch ground ball right side could be two over to Korea for one on a Santana yeah. two back for 
Baltimore from the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. The wind of the pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The punch out there and one away. Brian the Jeffers, the, the next game. twin up to him. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go there. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. And they get the out after the ricochet. Max Kepler at the plate. Now, Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. and misses it's a strikeout yeah. and we're back except for the bottom of the third and here is Anthony Volpe the pitch here's a rocket out to left Larner makes the grab one down now it's LeMay who up to hit. Man, he smoked that fastball. It's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. In the air, left field. Larner moving under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the rookie catcher, Austin Wells. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back in New York, on to the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Carlos Correa. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Judge, sizing this one up, makes the grab, and there's one down. And next for Minnesota, Trevor Larnick. Trevor Larnick. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up. This one's into the gap in left center, and that should be extra bases. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay throw, not in time, he's safe. Everything came together for him, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And here it comes. Oh, and that's downstairs and outside. Hey. And strike two. Careful. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Here comes a pitch. And ball four, four to a board. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way that. to keep the bat on the his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right oh, now, no. I couldn't have done it. At the belt and fires. Yeah, there's a ball. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. You got to look for something up in the zone. At worst case scenario, Crazy. you deliver the sacrifice fly. Kicks and deals. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. That gets down for a hit. In comes the runner from third. It's three zip. In there safely. 
Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it, and that allowed him to fight it off and just get enough behind him. Now, Willie Castro. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. Swings through that one for strike two. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get ground ball, double play. And now it's three and two. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. On the mound now, Clay Holmes. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to add him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Good right sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Lifted in the air, right field. Soto makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom four, now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Knock right field. And the leadoff man aboard. Anytime you run a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Juan Soto. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two two now. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. That's out to center field. Buxton moves under it. Squeezes it. And now picked number 99, Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Had him way out front of the slur. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. The Twins Rizzo. leading by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. One, two now. That one lifted to left. Larnick on the move. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the number two hitter, Edouard Julien. That one ripped. That's not coming back. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 4-0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So up next, Ryan Jeffers. Fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Max right Kepler. It's a good recovery, though, after Kepler. giving up the home run. 
not allowing it to stay in the head but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that one down base is empty foul we'll see another payoff pitch right handed reliever foul off the plate they'll do it again good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat on the ground and oh. foul ball and a three two on the ground to the left so it was a long battle at the plate but they still managed to get the out two the outs base is empty and here comes Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. This guy sick has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Back in the Bronx, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's going to be Giancarlo Stanton. The line of the pitch. Ripped to short. Tosses to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The Twins leading by four. Last half of inning number five. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get out. the out after the ricochet. Okay. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Yeah, they didn't recognize change-up earlier enough. Got out front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. That one not close. Ball two. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Kepler drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. That is the inning. Can't trust that. Back at Yankee Stadium, now the left fielder, Trevor Larnick. Trevor Larnick. Out towards right center field. Sizes this one up. And there's one down. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit that oh. misses off the outside edge so I went into the game I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me he said you're trying to put me out of business aren't you <laughs> and that was a <laughs> great great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York the kick the three two and down on strikes he goes. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to him. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a one-two again. And another ball. Got him looking. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Back now in the Bronx. Here we go, bottom six. Here's the third baseman, DJ LeMay. The pitch. And that's ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Make a team up with the free pass. And now the catcher comes up to him, Austin Wells. 
This is off the inside. Two and one. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like the That's a fair ball down the right field line. LeMayhew around second, headed for third. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Up and in, three and one now. And the right-hander deals. And is that one deep left field? And forget it. extremely costly. Watch Soto down. That one off the mark, and that's ball three. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Hard hit, right side. Throw on to Santana. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. Aaron Judge at the plate. Still only one out here in the inning. Way outside, and that's ball three. Right side, hard hit. In plenty of time to first judge out of the play. So digging in, Anthony Rizzo. The Yankees down by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stuff doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always seem to have life. Just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. To second, but way too late, safe there. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Jorge Alcala. Number Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. And it's second. Got him swinging. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Caleb Ferguson. He's in a game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Well, these twins, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. So the lineup flips over. Alex Kirilov will hit next. Runner on the move. Swing and a miss. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. High leg kick hangs in the air, but he read it nicely. And now in scoring position to add on to this lead. First and third now with nobody out. Now, Pat. 
second base. Edouard Julien getting ready to hit. And he deals. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. 2 2 now. On the ground to third. Off balance oh. feed. There's one. To Man. first. Not in time. Great effort there. Ryan Jeffers, Jeff, Jeff, the next twin Jeff, up to hit. Jeff, Jeff. And a pitch. Out there to center. Judge has it sized up. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. And they take a two-run lead. So two down now. And here is Max Kepler. The lefty ready. And a 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player. You he takes it himself to the bag. And that'll do it. Back at Yankee Stadium, here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Kicks and fires. The Yankees looking to rally. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. Left-hand batter waits. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Bases empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. In the air, out towards right center. He's got it. Two down. Here's DJ LeMayhew. And the righty deals. Swings through that one. To the right side. And that's just foul. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ian Hamilton. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And a pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. a 2-2 on the ground right side Torres handles first Here out go. in the top of the eighth so up next Trevor down, down, Larnick left field. Trevor, Trevor Larnick. Larnick one down base is empty all three a piece there we'll do it again and yeah, there's ball, ball four. four second walk of the game for him and he's been really patient at the play the game the plan center that center he's sticking to he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there Larnick the base runner at first with one out And that one is lifted in the air. Judge really on his horse for this one. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. His defense is better than a lot of people think. He's a big guy. A very athletic move as well. And that was a very nice play going back to get it out late in this ball game. 
two outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Here's a one-two. On the ground, right side. On to first. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Caleb Fieldbar. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. Here's a 1-1. Fouled off to the right. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back to the top of the lineup. Here is Glaber Torres. And the pitch. The Yanks down by a pair near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Now he breaks his back, stretches out and hauls it in. And now the right fielder, Juan Soto. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Line drive, short hop to third. Over to first. They get the out on Soto. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Victor Gonzalez. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. The 1-1. One, one. Good eye in that spot. Gonzalez deals. Popped up. LeMayhew gets under it. And out number one on the grab. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Here's Alex Kirilov. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. On the ground right side. Torres over to first. Two up, two down. Now it's the second now baseman, Edward second Julien. Baseman. Edward Julien. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack it in the box. Hard hit left side. Sends it across yep. the first, and that's the third out. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Yohan Duran. Now, I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Swing and a miss. And the count one and, one and two. Judge rips that one. And that gets down into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. And another ball. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, 
Then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. That one finds the zone, and it's two and two. Bounce to the right side, and that one finds its way through. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got no, enough no, no, behind no, it no, to no, shoot no. it through for a knock. No, and no, you'll no. take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So no, runners no. at the corners, nobody out. And now the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. In the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. With the winning run at the plate here in the last half of inning number nine. And it's into the gap. One runs in. And a great play. The relay. He scores to tie it up. 5-5 now. And a huge two on the ice swing of the back row. On the mound out for the Twins, Josh Stamon. Making a move at second base, entering as the pinch runner, Oswaldo Cabrera. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score a base hit. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. The winning run on second base. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Rip to first, caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get now some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Trying to send this to extra innings. Strike two. One and two. Him out. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. So coming into the game now on defense, Jemai Jones. He'll be patrolling center field. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, on to extra innings. And now the Twins catcher, Bryant Jeffers. Man at second. Got a good eye there. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. That one the other way. He's in safely at second as they jump ahead a run scores. Big RBI for him right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now, Max Kepler. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in the top half of the 10. That's down and in. And that one flips the corner. Three and two. He goes down looking. Now Correa up to him. Hello. Here comes a pitch. Yeah, a foul ball. Jeffers, the runner at second with one away. And a swing and a miss. And 
and there's two away. Trevor Larnett, the next twin up to him. Trevor Larnett. Man on second, two down. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Back in the Bronx, on to the bottom of the 10. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. So the tying run at second. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. to six a one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi saying so long <laughs>